hey guys welcome to our channel coders arcade so in this video we will be talking about our next topic which is constants so constants in c refers to the fixed values that does not change during the execution of a program c supports several types of constants such as numeric constants and character constants again numeric constant consists of two more constants which are integer constants and the real constants in a similar way Character constants also have two more constants, which are single character constants and the string constants. So let us talk about a first constant, which is the integer constant. So the integer constant refers to the sequence of digits. Now there are three types of integers, namely decimal integer, octal integer and hexadecimal integer. So in the decimal integer consists of digits from zero to nine preceding by the optional minus or plus sign. Let us see the examples for the decimal integer constants, which are, let's say, 1, 2, 3, minus 3, 2, 1, 0, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and plus 78. These are all the decimal integer constants example. Now, if we talk about the octal integer constants, then these constant consist of any combination of digits from 0 to 7 with the leading of 0. Example 0, 3, 7, 0, 0, 4, 3, 5, 0, 5, 5, 1. So from starting 0, we can write any number inside the limit 0 to 7. Similarly, a sequence of digits preceded by 0x or 0 capital X is considered as hexadecimal integer. There may also include alphabet A through f or small a through small f. The letter a through f represents the number 10 through 15. So following are the examples for the valid hex integers. So let's say 0x2, 0x9f, 0xbcd or 0x. So these are the hexadecimal integers. Now let's move on to the real constants which is the second variety of numerical constants. So integer numbers are adequated to represent quantities that vary continuously such as distance, height, temperature, price and so on. So these quantities are represented by the number containing fractional part like 17.548. Such numbers are called real or floating point constants. Let's see an example of those. So like 0.008 3 or minus 0 0.75 or 435.36 or plus 247.0. So these are all the real constants. Now let's move on to the single character constant. So a single character constant or simply a character constant cons contains a single character closed within a pair of single quote marks. So when you write a single character or, or single integer, Inside a quotes, it will be recognized as a single character constant. Now let's move on to the string constant. So a string constant is a sequence of characters includes in a double quotes. So the characters may be letters, numbers, special characters and a blank space. Like in double quotes, if we write hello or in double quotes, if you give an integer value as well, it will be recognized as a string constant inside the quotes. So you can write under double quotes 1987 or you can write well done or you can give any symbol like question mark uh, full stop or an exclamation mark or you can give 5 plus 3 or anything you want. Also one more thing that I wanted to tell you are the backslash character constant that C supports. So the C supports some back special backslash character constants that can be used in output functions. So these are some of the backslash character constants as you can see here backslash a which means audible alert backslash b which means backspace backslash f which means form feed backslash n which means new line backslash r which means carriage return backslash t which means horizontal tab and then backslash v which means vertical tab and so on. There are many more backslash character constants. 
So this is all about the constants in C. So our next topic is variables. So a variable is a data name that may be used to store a data value. Unlike constant that remains unchanged during the execution of a program. A variable may take different values at different times during execution. So a variable name can be chosen by a programmer in a meaningful way so that it reflects the function or nature in the program. Some examples of such names are like average, height, total, counter 1, class, strength. And as I mentioned earlier, variable names may be consist of letters, digits and the underscore character subject to the following conditions. First condition is they must begin with a letter. Some system permits underscore as the first characters, but usually we should begin our variable name with a letter. Second point is ANSI standard recognizes a length of 31 characters. However, length should not be normally more than 8 characters since only the first 8 characters are treated as significant by many compilers. So usually in this case, we should use only maximum of 8 characters while defining a variable. Third point is that C is a case sensitive language. So, so you need to take care about the uppercase and the lowercase letters. So total is not the same as total or the full capital total. Then my fourth point is it should not be a keyword. So keywords such as for, if, printf, these kind of keywords should not be a variable because those are some reserved keywords in C. Then fifth white spaces are not allowed. So you cannot define a variable which has a white, white space in between. So some examples of valid variable names are John, Delhi, Mark, Value, X1, Someone, T raise, pH value, distance. So you saw here that in uh, T raise, I have given an underscore instead of white space. If I had to give a white space in between, then it would be a illegal variable. So instead of white space, I've used underscore. So finally, how to declare a variable? So to declare a variable, you need to write the variable name. Then to give this variable a value, we write equals and then we write the data that needs to be transferred into it. So if I write an integer a, then I need to define the data type, which is int for the integer value as it contains the integer value inside it. So about this int, it comes into a data type that I'll be discussing about in the next topic. So this is how a variable is declared in C. Now our next topic is data types in C. So data type specifies how we enter the data into our program and what type of data we enter. C language has some predefined set of data types to handle various kinds of data that we can use in our program. So these data types have different storage capacities. Basically, C supports two types of data types, which are the primary data types and the derived data types. In the primary data types, these are the fundamental data types, namely integer, floating point, character and void and the derived data types in derived data types are just the primary data types but with a little twist or group together like arrays, structures, union and pointers. So data type determines the type of data a variable will hold. If a variable x is declared as int that means x can only hold the integer value. Every variable which is used in the program must be declared as what data type it is. So let's look on the different types of data types. So first one is the integer data types. So basically integers are used to store whole numbers. The next is the floating point. Floating point are the decimal point numbers and the character types are used to store the character values and void type. Void typically means no value. So this is usually used to specify the type of function which returns nothing. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts 
Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.